What's going on, everybody? I hope you are all doing well. Uh, today, I wanted to talk to you guys about creating characters for your comic. And specifically, I wanted to talk to the beginner comic book creators because I am kind of a beginner comic book creator myself. Now, I have been illustrating as a job, but I haven't drawn a comic seriously since I was like 14 years old. But as I was designing the characters for my comic, there were two specific principles that kept coming out, and I just wanted to talk about those principles to help you beginner comic book artists create the story that you've always dreamed of. Now, alongside these principles, I also believe that it's super important to see if that, those principles are demonstrated in real comics that are happening right Right now and there's no better characters that both illustrate these two principles than the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So let's go ahead and take a look at those comics. All right, so here I have one of the big volumes of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And the first principle I want you guys to understand when creating characters is to think simply with the design. Now you may be thinking that a cool character design for a comic needs to be complex, flashy, dynamic, but that's not necessarily the case. And we can see that with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and their design. As we look at the design of the Ninja Turtles, their design overall is fairly simple. It's just a bunch of spheres and cylinders. Now there's not so much like spikes or like other kinds of shapes coming out. It's just a very simple design. Now the reason why you want to think simply with this design for your comic is because you are going to be drawing these characters repeatedly almost every single page, almost every single panel throughout however long your story is going to be. So if you are going way too complex with the design, like if you're designing them like an Overwatch character, you're going to have a really hard time drawing that character from different angles, different perspective, foreshortening, which is a whole nother beast that I haven't defeated myself. But thinking simply using simple shapes, it's really going to help you out as you draw. One of the characters from my comic, uh, her name is Ingrid, and all she is is made up of spheres and cylinders as well. And she's my favorite character to draw the most because of how simply she's designed. Also, if you simplify the design, you are going to draw a whole lot faster, I promise you, because you're going to be focusing less on tiny, tiny details and focusing more on the overall important parts like the clarity of the gesture uh, the design of the character and, and the story that you're trying to tell also think about the silhouette of your character too because the overall silhouette of your character is going to help uh, you see the simplicity of it so if you have a character that has 1 million spikes coming out of his back you're gonna have a really hard time painting or drawing all of those needles coming out of his back or the spikes coming out of his back so just make sure that your silhouette is fairly simple keep to your basic shapes and design very simply for your benefit. Because again, you're going to be drawing this character repeatedly all throughout your story. And the second thing I want you to think about as you're designing these characters is to simplify your color palette. Now again, let's go ahead and look at the Ninja Turtles. And we all know the Ninja Turtles are green, but they're also accented by other colors as well. Yellow for the breastplate, maybe brown for the shell, and then of course their iconic colored bandanas. And that's it. It. That's all you need to do as a starting comic creator. Because if you simplify your co color palette, you're going to be a whole lot faster and we have deadlines to keep. So we wanna make sure that we're staying on time, making sure that our audience is not waiting for us to finish up on the color. Because if we have 10 billion colors on one character design, we're gonna have a hard time. Even if that character is designed very simply, like we followed the first principle, if we have way too many colors being on that character, again, all of that momentum is going to slow down. If you look at my characters from Cosmic Casuals, right now, actually it's in black and white, but I designed them in color. All of them are basically made up of three colors. And I do think that that's all you need to have for your characters. Now, this depends on the context and what story you're going to tell. There's always an exception to the 
rule, but I do believe that having a simplified color palette is going to help you out. So Zoe, her main colors are red, yellow, and blue. Astro's main colors are green, purple, and white. Ingrid's is white, blue, and then a gray color. And Rin's color palette is teal, brown, and yellow. And it's also really good to have kind of an accent color to help them pop, especially with the Ninja Turtles. They have that accent color in their bandanas. So we know exactly which one is which. And some versions of the Ninja Turtles, they come in different versions of green. So we know exactly which one is Donatello more so than just relying on their bandanas because sometimes they don't even wear bandanas. Sometimes they take them off because they don't want to be wearing them all the time. So it's super important to think about these things. Think simply. Promise you that your characters are still going to look fantastic if they're simply designed and simply colored. It's going to help you be faster and as you get faster in drawing your comic, you're going to build a bigger audience and you're just going to have a much better time, a bit better longevity from your comic, okay? For your comic. Uh, I'm getting distracted. My dog is trying to get in my face. I, I don't know what this kid wants. Goodbye.